All right, Cedar Valley, here we go. We are here to talk about getting unstuck. It's so easy right now to feel like we're stuck somewhere. So easy to feel like we are stuck in this weird, strange place where we don't know if we can go outside, who we can hang out with, what the heck we're doing. It's really easy right now to get feeling stuck. So we're here to talk about six questions. We're gonna go five, and then we're gonna give you a bonus question. Uh, what are questions you can ask yourself to help yourself get unstuck so you can get moving forward? Despite all the weirdness, despite what's going on, despite feeling like you're isolated and alone, you can make this an amazing time. So we're gonna talk about five questions and the bonus question, what can you do to get unstuck, get over that knowledge action gap? So let's get to it. First question right now, am I clear that I need to take action? Am I clear that I need to take action? Sometimes what stops us is we don't know that we actually need to act. We Maybe we think we should, but I'm not really sure that I should do anything. You got to take action. The world belongs to the people that take action. They actually did a big study of CEOs, people in charge of companies, and they surveyed their employees. And guess what the number one thing that the employees wanted from their boss was? A boss that takes action. Somebody that takes action. So the first thing you got to do to get unstuck is get clear about this idea. You got to do something. Don't just sit there. If you're stuck, the worst thing you can do is stay stuck. Do something. So get clear. You got to get unstuck. We know you can get it done. So ask that question. Am I clear that I need to take action? I have to do something. Second question. Am I clear about the action I need to take? Am I clear about the action I need to take? That one's tough because sometimes you know you need to act, but you're not entirely sure exactly what to do. This is where it can be really beneficial to reach out to somebody who's walked that path before, somebody who's been there. You're, you're dealing with a relationship problem. Don't talk to your friends with relationship problems. Talk to somebody that has dealt with one and moved past it. Talk with somebody that's been there, done that, and learn some important lessons. That's gonna help you. But getting clear about the actions you need to take is one of the reasons you reach out and talk to somebody because the people that have been there, they know the actions that work. They also know the actions that don't work. And so connecting with somebody else, somebody that, that might be a, an expert in that, somebody that you might trust. Have you been in this situation? What actions helped you? Now, sometimes you know the actions you need to take, and you, you're really clear about the actions you need to take. And it's just hard. You, you know, everybody knows they should be doing their schoolwork right now. We know that online education right now is I got to get on the computer. I got to figure out what I have to do and I got to do it. That's an action we know that we need to take. So we're clear about the action, but we don't take it. Why? Well, next great question to ask yourself. Question number three, do I have the energy needed to take action? Do I have the energy that I need to jump into action? So many times we know what we need to do, but we're depleted. We're run down. We're tired. We've been burning the candle at both ends. We've got a lot of stress going on. We haven't been taking care of our bodies. There's lots of different ways that you can manage your energy, and that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. We'll talk about the four main things you can do to build your energy up. But what stops a lot of people is that question, do I have the energy I need to take action? If you don't, you now know what you can do to get unstuck, get your energy better. As we answer all these questions, it's gonna give you direction, what you can do to get yourself unstuck. Do I have the energy I need to take the action that I know I need to take? If the answer is no, what can you do to get that energy up? So that's what we're doing here. We're figuring out the questions you need to ask to figure how you can get unstuck. If you got the energy to do it, you're going to be great. Here's number four. Next question you can ask. Do I know why I need to take this action? This one, and, and you all know this one because you've all sat in your math class. You've all sat in your English class and said, why do I need to learn this? And it's really hard to make yourself do some of that stuff if you don't understand why. If you don't have a why, I need to do this. The action that you want to take, you can know the action, but if you don't know why you need to take that action, 
it's going to be hard to do and you're going to feel stuck. And we don't want to feel like that. I hate feeling like that. I'm sure I know I felt like that. I know everybody feels like that at some point. And so understanding why you're taking that action is so important. Give yourself a reason, even if it doesn't seem like the action matters, make it matter to you. Because once it matters to you, now you're gonna have that drive to get unstuck. But if you don't ever ask the question, why am I doing this, okay? How is this gonna help me? Why do I need to do this? If you get an answer to that question, getting unstuck becomes a lot easier. So ask it, why do you need to do this? Why do I need to take this action? Number five, do I have the skills needed to consistently act? Do you have the skills you need to take the action that you wanna take? Because you can know the action you wanna take, but you can feel very, very stuck if you don't have the skills necessary to act and move forward. And if you ask this question, do I have the skills necessary to consistently act? And the answer is no, you just found out how to get unstuck. Get the skills you need. What a great time we're sitting in right now to get the skills that we need so we can move forward. Maybe we need to spend a little more time on our math skills and we have time now. You have so much time in your day. How are you managing that time? Go back and watch the boss level productivity. Work on that, manage that because that's a skill that keeps us stuck managing our time. Do you have the skills necessary to take action consistently? If you can do that, if you can develop those skills, you're gonna start to get unstuck and that's what we're all here for. So those are the five questions we got for you, but I told you we got a bonus one. Now this one takes some guts. This is a challenging one and I'm gonna challenge you a little bit because I think you're ready for it. You're at home, you're working on stuff. Many of you are doing a great job with online schooling. But there's a lot of actions in our lives that there's an extra element to that keeps us stuck. And it can be a little bit hard to, to confront that one, but we're going to throw it out right now. Great question to ask yourself. Am I ready to confront the fears that block my path to action? Are you ready to confront the fears that are going to pop up? Because sometimes it's fear that stops us. In fact, more often than we realize, it's fear that stops us from moving forward. It's fear that stops us from making progress. We might be scared of losing something. We might be scared to change what we're doing in our life because if we change, we might lose the friends that we have. If I make that change, maybe my friends won't like me anymore. That's a fear. That's a fear of losing something. Maybe we're scared that it's going to be hard. Maybe we don't do that math assignment because we're scared that it's going to take a long time to do it and it's going to be hard and I'm going to fail and I'm going to fail and I'm going to fail before I get it. That's a fear that blocks our path. Another thing that we're feared, afraid of is the outcomes. Sometimes we get scared that the outcome won't be as good as we think it is. And maybe we're afraid that, oh, even if I do all this work, I'm not going to be able to pass that test. Maybe we're afraid that, ooh, if I ask that, that girl out or that guy out, they won't say no or they won't say yes. <laughs> That'd be great if they didn't say no, um, but they, they won't say yes. And we're scared of that. We're scared of the outcomes that might pop up. Sometimes we're scared to get behind the wheel of a car because we're afraid we'll get in an accident. Sometimes we're afraid to go outside right now because we might get a virus. Okay. Fear of outcomes. Fear is a very big factor in this, and that's why it's the bonus question. Okay. What are the fears that you might have to confront that are stopping you and blocking your path? Okay, so there you go. Those are the six questions. Okay. Just to recap those again, make sure you're getting unstuck. Are you clear about the pet? The, are you clear about the action you need to take? Okay. Uh, are you clear that you need to take action? Do you have the energy needed to take action? Okay. Are you um, understanding why? Remember, that's a huge one. Why do you need to take that action? Are you answering that question? Do you have the skills that you need to consistently take the action that you're trying to take? And if you don't, skill up. Get the skills you need. It's a great thing to work on and it gets you unstuck. And then that bonus question, the fear factor. Okay. Are you ready to confront the fears 
that are blocking your path and stopping you from being the best that you can be. Look, Cedar Valley, we love you guys. We are super proud of you. There are so many of you that are really working hard on this online thing. I've talked to some kids that love it because it's different. It's a great schedule for them. It works and they're managing their time really well. If you're stuck, not just on the online schooling thing, but in any, any area of your life, review this. Ask those six questions and figure out what's got you stuck. And once you figure out what's got you stuck, it allows you to make progress and take action that moves you forward because it's all about momentum. Once you get the ball rolling, it's easier to keep the ball rolling. The hardest thing to do with pushing a boulder down the mountain is to get the boulder started. Once the boulder starts rolling, boy, it steamrolls. I've seen those things, not that I've ever done this or anything, but I've seen very large rocks do some pretty significant damage and they were hard to move at first, but once they got going, they gathered a lot of momentum. And that's what you're trying to create. That's how you're gonna get unstuck. Ask these questions, start generating some momentum and go get unstuck. We believe in you, Cedar Valley. Go make it happen.